This time we're going to use the beech tree stamp to make the card, this card. We're going to use Art Cure watercolour and we're also going to add a little chalk in here. Oh. Use chalks, Holly. I've never used chalks before, so you're going to have to show me how. Well, we'll do that. <laughs> so there's that card done like that. There is another card, which the main part of which is done in the same way. And I'm going to show you how to cut a book card. Oh, fantastic. It is so easy. But first of all, the basic technique. You need the stamp. You need some chalks. And you also need to mark your colours. I've got deep green, mid-brown, olive green, and a chisel. Is that a water brush? Oh, it's a water brush, but it's got a chisel tip on it. And why would you use the chisel tip? I'll show you when we get there, shall okay. I? All okay, right, I'll be patient. You be patient. <laughs> right, now, we're not going to use the stamp first. We're going to use the chalks first. And we need a piece of paper towel. And we need some blue. There's blue. This is very technical, Holly. Okay. I'll make sure I pay attention. Yes. And some brown. And some sludgy green. Lovely colours, though. Nice colours. Now I've got dust all over my fingers, right. Now a piece of plain white card. It's a little bit stark if you just go for that. So we've got a nice piece of clean tissue. Folded it up. Put it into the blue and just rub it across your card. As easy as that. As easy as that. And don't try and get, you know, too precious about it. Just let it go. Okay. Then we'll have some sludgy green. Using the, just the same tissue? Doesn't just matter. the same tissue, it doesn't really matter. And because you're rubbing this uh, chalk straight into the card, you really don't even need to see, seal it at all. It'll, you're rubbing most of it off because you're giving yourself a very soft background colour. Right. So there's your background. That was difficult. That was, it? that was extremely easy. Let's put this away now. Now we go back to our beech tree stamp, which I haven't got on straight. So we'll put it on straight onto the grid line. Give it a push. <clears throat> and now we've got olive green. Once again, you start with your lighter colours. There's olive green running nice and free. And paint stamp. Difficult, isn't it? Sideways and scrubble. It really doesn't matter if you get it over no, the edges, does really it? really doesn't. Just scrubble it all over. If you start getting precious and paint like that, you put way too much paint down. And I'd probably end up getting it all in the grooves and yeah, finally would well, Then, then it would blog. Really this is dark green. This gives it a bit of depth. Don't put it all over, just here and there. That's artistic, did you notice? It's very artistic. <laughs> and this is mid-brown. Pull it up into the tree and onto the bottom. Very quick and easy. It is, isn't it? And then you just stamp it. Let's just see if we get this straight after getting it on the block straight. There we go, and we've laid all our colours down. Oh, wonderful. But sadly, our beech tree doesn't have any leaves. No, it's a little bit sad, isn't it? <laughs> this is where the chisel comes in. This is the chisel brush. Make sure it's wet and clean. Now, upright, it's that horizontal and horizontal, yeah? Okay. And don't push, don't paint, just stipple. Why is it important just to stipple? Because you just got all you're trying to do is lay down the tiniest puddle of water to make your watercolour bleed. Is it running a little bit too wet for me? And why necessarily horizontal? Well, because beech trees grow horizontally. Do they? Yeah. I you look at them, they grow horizontally. Oh. You learn something new every day. <laughs> There we go. Now you just keep stippling and you see the olive and the dark green and the brown. So no more colour, it's, no. it's just that water that you're using yep. just to pull the colour off. Just to let it go and you just puddle it down. Do you see how it's ever so easy? It is. But if you try and paint, you can it will it. start to get, it will blur. Just let the watercolour do what watercolour does. That's fantastic how it's just picking it up without... Well, it's doing much at all. No, if you look at the bristles of this chisel as well, they're not even really bending, are they? Not at all. I'll leave some spaces. You can see through, tree, through trees. That just changes it completely. And a little zig down there, put some shadow in. And that's it finished. Wow. 
wasn't difficult, was it? No, it was extremely quick and I'm quite impressed. Okay. Now to make, to make, we'll just put this here to dry so I don't smudge it. To make this tree, this card here, you see the background is not chalked, but it has two trees. Yes. Right. So you need a bigger piece of paper, like so. You need a ruler and a pencil. Decide, just draw a straight line where you would like it to be. This just gives you a guideline. And here's our tree stamp. A little bit of water. Not a lot, just one hush. Let's take this out of the way. Hush. Now using your pencil line on there, stamp one tree here. Okay. Another little hush. Let's just take it to the side a bit. Fantastic how you can just use the same colour and you've not added any extra. I haven't added any extra, no. And stamp it again. So three images out of the one. There you go. Now when that's dry, you can use that as your background paper. Take your first image and cut it out and trim it and, mark on and mount it on black and then overlay it onto the, the background you just stamped onto black again, onto white, and then onto a black card. And there you are. Lovely. A beech tree.